FanaticWrestling.com, guys. Brand new video is out by Coach Daryl Christian. I have to tell you, if you're an aspiring wrestler or you're an aspiring MMA fighter that wants to learn wrestling, Coach Daryl Christian, there is nobody else to go to. There is nobody better to go to. These are as plain of words as I know how to speak. If you want to see, I'll throw myself in there, where I got my takedowns. If you want to learn why TJ Dillashaw can take everybody down an octagon. If you want to know who George St. Pierre himself turned to for wrestling attacks for MMA, Daryl Christian, only at fanaticwrestling.com. Get his DVD right now. So Cowboy Joe Lazon is off. Cowboy Jim Miller is on. By the way, in like three weeks... And it really comes down to a weight cutting issue. Is this a short notice fight? Is this a last minute fight? If so, for who? Now, there's different schools to thought on this. By example, the fact that Cowboy made weight a week ago, and this will be Cowboy's last time in his life weighing 156 pounds. By the way, I mean, keep that in mind. I remember the last time I was ever going to weigh 185 pounds. I was coming through the curtain to fight Anderson Silva. I was going to take his belt away. I was going to double cross everybody because I knew I couldn't make the weight class anymore. So I'm, just, I'm sharing with you. It's a very relevant thing. So now Cowboy's going to go and do that three weeks removed from the last time that he did it. I think to a lot of you, including to myself, you go, okay, that's probably going to make the weight easier, more manageable. Well, maybe. But then I might remind you of the time that Tony Ferguson fought at something called UFC 246 that was two weeks after the date it was supposed to be, and Tony did his own weigh in. Do you guys remember that? Tony cut the weight. He got on the scale. He said, I'm going to do everything that I ever agreed to do. It was this incredible marketing piece. We all ate it up and we loved it. And two weeks later, Tony gets in there. He never looked so flat. That's just the truth. Tony never was as slow and got out of the way of less punches than he did that night. Is it tied to the win? I don't, I don't know. But it's a fair point by me. Because I do think it puts Cowboy at a disadvantage. I just don't know what that disadvantage is. Is it physical or is it mental? Changing the opponent from a long, lanky Joe Lazon to a short and powerful Jim Miller really couldn't be further ends of the spectrum, at least physique-wise, at least sparring partner-wise, I think that a number of things about this suck, which is what makes it so cowboy. This is perfect, guys. This story could not be going any better. Of course cowboy's going to do some cowboy stuff. Of course he's going to switch opponents. Of course he's going to fight on a date that wasn't planned. Of course he's going to have five things stacked against him. That's what makes him cowboy. I love it. Now, this is a rematch, by the way. Jim Miller and Cowboy had met up years ago. And you'd be a little bit misled if you just go read the result. Because it was a head kick knockout by Cowboy. That's the finish. That's not how the fight was. I'll just remind you of that. This is competitive. And Jim Miller, not for nothing, has gotten better. And I have the foggiest idea how. I mean, he's always been pretty good. He's gotten better. Jim Miller beat Oliveira. You guys know that? Jim Miller tapped Oliveira out. In fact, I think they might have fight twice. I think Oliveira might have got him back with this submission. I remember it was very early on. We hear about this guy named Charles Oliveira. He's this young guy, 22 or 23 years old. He's this jujitsu prodigy. But we just heard all of these wonderful things. Jim Miller goes out, puts him in a very basic knee bar and taps him out. And I don't say that to put Oliveira down. I, I, I say it to share with you, like, Miller's done some incredible things. And you will be misled if the only thing you know about Miller and Cowboy's past is that it ended with a finish. You will be very misled. There was a lot of work and a lot of setups and a lot of preparation, and a lot of psychology, and a lot of traps laid for Cowboy to ever land that head kick. It's an interesting match. It's problematic. Most guys wouldn't want to do it. That's what makes it perfect. This is Cowboy. This is everything he's ever done. I mean, this is Br'er Rabbit born and raised in the Briar Patch. I like it. I was going to reach out to Cowboy and just say, hey, man, short notice, changing plans. Where's your head at? 
Where a cowboy's head at is, is 90% the cowboy story. And you guys well know that. But I don't need to ask him. I started to type that out. I deleted it. I had my answer. I had to think about it for a second. Well, yeah, this position sucks. This position is not ideal. Everything is riding on this. Your final walk, win or lose, your final walk, everything you want to be right. Nothing about this is what he planned. That's what makes this perfect.